All right. Okay. Today, we are back with another Morissette reaction video. It has been a months. very, very long time. Months. Yeah. Since we last listened to Morissette, Jordan. I am dying to listen to Morissette again. I'm dying to listen to this Bruno Mars Evolution medley, Jordan. Yeah, man. Bruno Mars. We grew up listening to Bruno Mars on the radio, hearing his songs all over the place. You yes. couldn't escape it. So when we saw that uh, Morissette did a medley of Bruno Mars' Evolution, we had to check it out. And it says covers feature Third Avenue. I've never heard of Third Avenue before. No. Maybe a band or something? Or We'll have to see. Yeah. Okay. What Morissette song did we leave off with? So the last song that we listened to from Morissette was A King Kana La. Oh my gosh. On the Wish Bus. Yes. The only two songs that we heard from Morissette were on the Wish Bus. Yeah. Rise Up. Oh my. Andre Day. <sighs> and I'll rise up. I'll, I'll rise up like the day. day. I'll rise up. And I do it unafraid. Uh, I'll rise up. Uh, and we. And I'll do it a thousand <laughs> times. And Jared, her voice was so striking because we listened to Andre Day first. Yes. The original first, right? And we heard what she did in Akin Kanalan when she had that. I don't even remember how many seconds it was where she did not breathe. Yes. Right. So these are some of her capabilities. And it is time to dig back in, as we said we were going to do, into the Morissette rabbit hole. Yes. Now, let me ask you this. Yes, Jared. Do we listen to any Bruno Mars ahead of time? Or do we just let the music hit us and rely on our uh, internal memory of all of Bruno Mars's discography and his songs? I think we do the latter. Okay. Because it's a medley. Yeah. And there is a description here that lets us know which song she sings. So I think maybe we should check that out and then just listen to it. Oh my gosh. Sure. A uh, yeah. lot of songs. A whole lot of songs. And that's because Bruno Mars has a whole lot of popular songs out there. Billionaire. Uptown Funk. Billionaire. Uh, Do you remember that? Uh, sort of. Uh, I'll remember it when I hear it. Nothing on you, marry you, finesse. They're just classic songs that we grew up on, man. Yeah. So I'm not going to do any more talking. Anything else you got to say? No, I'm just eager to get back into Morissette. Um, my my research brain is ticking on. Like, oh, do we need to look up Third Avenue? Is there anything we need to cover before we dive into this reaction? Let's look up Third Avenue. Quick. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so Third Avenue is a band. They okay. are a Filipino band composed of Muriel De La Paz, lead vocals, Paolo Ledesma, lead vocals, Joy Reyes, lead vocals, Altris Ramirez, lead vocals, Beng Gatmaitan, drums, Migs Nunes, keyboards, Gino Madrid, guitars, and Lester Serda, saxophone and flute this band started as an acoustic group of three members in 2000 uh, and it says that the original members started performing at restaurants bars and weddings although each one of them had different career backgrounds they were bound together by their passion and enthusiasm for music okay that's a large band though jared yeah all those names you just listed off are we about to get some live band instrumentation to make up this Bruno Mars medley? Possibly. Yeah. Unless it's pre-recorded uh, and they just, I don't know. Let's check it out though. But they are fellow Filipinos. Yes. And we know more said it's Filipino as well. Okay. I'm excited. All right, brother. Enough said. I think it's time that we jump right into the Bruno Mars evolution medley covers featuring third avenue by morrison here we go everybody sit back and enjoy let's go when i see your face 
Come on oh, now. Oh, yeah. The whole world stops and stares for a while. Wow. Because you're amazing. Just the way you are. It is a live band, too. Beautiful girls all over the world. I could be chasing, but my time would be wasted. They got nothing on your baby. Nothing on oh, your That's that. Aguilera, that's my favorite thing she does. Marry you, right? Mars song? Yeah. Okay. I think this is treasure. Uptown Funk, right? Okay, more second dance too.
Welcome back, George. Welcome back. My goodness, Jared. I don't know what hit me more. Going down memory lane mm. or whatever Morissette just did to us. Yes. I, I mean, Jordan, before we discuss what just happened here, okay, let's give respect to Bruno Mars. Okay. Oh, absolutely. That man is a legend. Every single one of these songs resides inside of us. Mm -hmm. It lives. Certain songs, though, Jared, hit me a little more. Hit me a yes. little different. And I think it was because of the way Morissette was singing them. When she was taking us to church, when she slowed it down. Jerry, we're in church. Oh, I know we researched Morissette before. Yeah. But I'm wondering, Jordan, you mentioned she, that she took us to church, mm. right? And you've said that a few times. Did she grow up around the church at all, singing, uh, you know, in a choir? Because yeah. she has that sort of pull to her and that vibe to her. Yep. Like the lead singer of a choir. Like the lead singer of a choir. And. It's been months, but I'm sure people have let us know, Jared, a whole lot about her background. We learned a lot yeah. a couple months ago, but it's been a while. What I feel like she does so well is she takes any song that she sings, especially songs from other artists. Yeah. And she makes them softer and she makes them, she like, she morissettizes them. Good word. <laughs> and by that, do you mean like the inside of a jelly donut. You know how you have to put the jelly in the donut? She puts joy. <laughs> she inserts joy in Careful there. with this analogy, I'm sorry, because I'm sorry. I go many different ways here. <laughs> like she inserts joy into yeah. the songs. Big old smile on her face. Yes. Anyway, what, what are some of your thoughts on no, this? I do think that's a good analogy. I think that she morissettizes any cover that she sings. Okay. Right? In this case, it was... 
a ton of Bruno Mars songs. Can I get a definition of morissettization? Sure. Let me just refer to my notes here. Morissettization is the insertion of that squeaky uh, purity yeah. in her voice, that growl. Growl. I wrote down the word growl, Jared. That spunk. Spunk. That spunk. Ooh. That warmness. You add all of that together, and that's morissettizing a song. What's spunk mean? Well, the spunk is more so her her personality and the uh, the fun that she adds to the song. Got and it. you see that with her dancing, with her smile, but it also comes out with her voice, Jordan. Mm -hmm. And the growl, I think, oh adds to that, gosh. especially when it's more of like a rock type song, yeah. where she's just rocking out. I, I mean, come on, Christina Aguilera growl all day. Since this was a medley, Jordan, she went from Christina Aguilera, and we, we've we done this before. Uh -huh. We went down the list. We won't do it again. <laughs> but two people stuck stuck out in my head. Uh, Mariah Carey? She went from Christina Aguilera to Mariah Carey. In a split second. In a split second. That's why her medleys, I can imagine she has a couple more, right? Yeah. Her medleys are so unique. Not only because she can do that, but also because of how she attacks the planning of it. Yeah. This... She could have attacked many different ways. She chose to do certain snippets of certain songs and sing certain words, maybe a little different than Bruno Mars did mm. at times. Yeah. And again, Jordan, we have definitely mentioned this before, but Morissette has incredible range. Yeah. You know, she toys around with going low mm -hmm. with some of those growls. She goes high with some of those squeaks. But it feels like her comfort zone is right there in that middle, right? A large middle, but right there in that middle, that warm sound. Warm. You know, that sound that fills the air and fills your ears. Yes. Right? Yeah, man. Flawless transitions. Yeah. To each song. Great live band. Yeah, shout out to the band, Third Avenue. They were rocking out. I think that's all I got, though, Jared. I mean, last thing real quick, she can do rock, she can do uh, R&B, she can do pop, gospel, gospel. It, is there any video out there of Morissette rapping? <laughs> <laughs> because if that's the case, send it our way, everybody. Yeah. Send it our way. Yeah, this was, this was good. I loved this. I loved how she attacked it uh, above all else. And then her voice just, her voice can touch us no matter what she sings. Yeah the perfect reintroduction or welcome back into the world of Morissette. That's right. Please let us know what we should watch next. I know you've given many different recommendations based off of the first two videos that we watched. Yeah. Uh, but let us know. I've heard never enough on the wish bus. Oh, yeah. They want us to get to that. Uh, one of her covers of Mariah Carey's song. Yeah, and we'll have to see what Morissette has been up to this mm. past year right because it's been a while since we last reacted to her she could have released a few albums by now that's true i don't know the people will let us know that's true let us know everybody we hope you enjoyed that if you did leave a like leave your thoughts in the comments down below and subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to turn on those notifications but most importantly be kind and keep an open mind everybody peace